Hey guys, this is Sakura san, and we are back with Doki Doki. Uh, where we were. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? You used to answer me blanky, then looks at my poem again. Thoughts. Well, I know that. I just meant, uh, um. Yui Trace trails off, unable to find an excuse. He traces a finger along the wall to the poem as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are Pacific, Pacific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of picked up on them. I think the most noticeable, noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up a writing style separate from the topic matter when they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and expressiveness are weakened. Once she resigns her train of thoughts, it's as if her dementor totally changes. Her stampering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. You, there are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, and even as important, not just finding and building them. But getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take some time, but it all comes into practice comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you a valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a bit biased though. Bias? How? Um, well, never mind. <laughs> I shouldn't be talking about people like that, sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yui is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to see my thought process behind it. Yui smiles dreamingly as if there's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost Under the Light The tendrils of Oh, I have to do it in her voice. Goes under the light, the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green... Line? Of the future, I bathe, calm, breathing. What is that word? Oh my... Air of my present but leaving, living in the past. The light flickers, I flicker back. I can't read this sometimes. What? Why isn't it working? Okay, there we go. That. I'm so sorry I have such terrible handwriting. Thank you for apologizing, finally! What? I was! <laughs> but it took you a long time to read, exactly. Well, I don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh. I do think that, but it is sometimes hard to read. That's a relief. Also, I like the poem, even though it's short, it's very descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems, not at all. I really like glad that you like it, I'll be honest. Since it's your first time sharing, I, I wanted to write something a little more wild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Hoo-hoo. <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, it's a cool. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Uh, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets only express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject in the poem is 
only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of us. And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh? It's nothing really. Yours was impressive too, so... Nah, if anything, I could probably learn a thing of, or two from yours. You think so? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this, but in the end, I, was, I enjoyed it. I'm going to do my my best for you, Sakura. Ah, me too. Monica! Hi, Sakura! Having a good time so far? <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring up, bring things up, okay? Alright, <laughs> alright, I'll keep that in mind. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm all settled in. Anyway, want to say any point with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Oh wait, wrong voice, my own self. <laughs> no worries, Sakura. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But is that sort of barrier that we... <laughs> well, I'll get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Good job, Sakura. I was going woo in my head while I, while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm s not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Uh, I guess it worked anyway. <clears throat> you know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Yes, I know. <laughs> writing that's full of imagery and, symboli and symbolism. Unlike Sayori who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Yuri likes it when readers are left to do to to derive their uh, own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that. Both allowing people to get something out of it, out of it by, just by feel. Or letting them s deeply analyze all of the new nuisances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yui has at this point. I never really asked, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Did <coughs> You keep learning and exploring and learning new things. I can't say that an American thing. Excellent. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing it. That's okay. I love to see you try new things. That's the best way to, to find a style that suits you. Any, any else might be a bit biased towards their own kinds of style, but I will but I'll always help you find. Oh dear lord, I can't do this right thing. I'll always find you. Find what suits you most. Don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> anyway, would do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good. Well, that's because I don't sound conf I don't have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. It had it couldn't have been me. Seen see the direction from produce. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I never know I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No! <laughs> I can't see. 
I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late, my, my routine has already scored with a permanent copy of Muna's image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stressing forever into everything. In a whole infinite choices. I realized how that I wasn't looking in. I wasn't looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. Wait, what? What? He? I, I don't know. I saw a bit of Pewds play this, and there was one poem that went a bit weird. So, what do you think? Creepy as fuck. <laughs> mm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. Okay, what's the inspiration behind this one? Ah, uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of... a 50 recently? It's been a few of seeing my poems a bit. And 50 Yeah, something like that. I kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. You try so hard to make it feel per to make it perfect, then you never get any pro make any profits. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up already. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep a pen in the same spot for too long, you'll get a deep dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Oh my god, I am making the voice more silly than I thought. <laughs> That's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for a video. <laughs> Even if they're being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is the literature club after all. I guess that's what en I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. Their eyes land on Yuri and Sayori. They gingerly exchange six sheets of papers, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of them as stress and change, full in frustration. Meanwhile, you smile sadly. What's with this language? Eh. Do you say? Do you say something? No. Oh, it's nothing. <coughs> Let me try to get our voice. Nasuki did. Mr. D turns her poem to the desk in with one hand. I get. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Do you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's about the, the feeling of getting up! How can that be cute? I... I don't... I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Hey! You mean you had to, have to try that hard to come up with nice, something nice to say? Thanks! But... That... That didn't really come out nice at all! I'm making this more silly than that. <laughs> um... I have a couple suggestions. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and Sakura did too. So based on that, I clearly gave some suggestions on my own! First of all... Excuse me. 
I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time accepting my writing, so I don't expect to change it anytime soon unless I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. <coughs> and if you like my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Uh, oh! I didn't realize you were so impressed in trying to... In trying to impress our new member, Yui. That's not what I... You're just... Maybe you're just jealous as a girl appreciates my advice more than he appreciates it. Huh? How do you know he didn't? He didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you not fooling yourself? If I fall or screw up myself, I would definitely go on my way and make everything I do over the cutesy! Yeah. Um... Um... Is everyone okay? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go on one of those groups of magically grow a size bigger than soon as a girl started sewing up. Lost. Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... That doesn't involve you! I don't like buying guys! Suddenly both girls turn towards you and you say just notice I was standing there. It's like, well, she's trying to pick me up bad. That's not true! She saw that! If she couldn't get over us, I would love to appreciate simple... How simple as writing is more effective, then this would help her. Then this would have happened in the first place. <laughs> What's the point of making it make it so confident that for no, for no reason? The meaning would jump out of the, at the window, then not force them to figure out it. Have to figure it out. Help me explain that to us, girl. Wait. There's no reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's only we can play complex feelings and reading the most effectively. Avoiding them, avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself. It's also a waste. You understand that, right? Um. Wow. Uh. How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whoever I agree with, I probably think more highly of me. So, of course, that's going to be... I actually agree with Yui a lot, that you have to use that. Sorry, Natsuki. What? I put down Yui. Why did I say Sa Natsuki? You're right that I like your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because your opinion, someone's opinion is better. That's not what happened at all! You ain't really like my poem. You don't take my poem seriously. Hmm. I understand. Yui? Eh? You're seriously a talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Oh, that. But here's the thing, no matter how simple or if we find someone's poem writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsu Natsuki felt trusted when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that I am sorry, you. But Natsuki, you took it way too far, you means well, if, and if you told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... Natsuki, I... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that, that you didn't mean. You really apologized. Don't you think you should too? Mwah. You really can't just have... Not... Asuki had to surface. In the end, nobody has taken the size. She's trapped at this point, being defined only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up feeling bad for her. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, I 
it helps to take walks and clear my mind, clear my head. Sayuri, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm going to do that. Don't spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki sets his own poem from the desk and saw him out. On her way, she crumbles up the poem with her hands and drawers in the trash. Natsuki. She really didn't mean to do that. I look across the room. Yui has her chin buried in her hands while she stares at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in the adjacent chair. Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. How could anyone have gotten so frustrated after being treated like that? He ended it as well as everyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, alright, I believe you. Thanks, Sakura. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you a part of this club now. Uh, uh, it's nothing. One more thing. That one thing that Natsuki said about, you know, I would never do anything so same to, so, eh, what thing did Natsuki say? Um, never mind that. I'm going to make some tea. Ah, uh, good idea. She was on about the boobs thing. <gasps> make enough, make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah. Okay, everyone, it's just about time for us to leave. How do you all feel about starting your poems? It was a lot of, it was a lot of fun. Well, I say it was worth it. It was alright, well, mostly. Sakura, how about you? I say the same. It was neat things to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you'll learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. That. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with a newfound determination. Sakura! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> it truly has been a while since Sayuri and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayuri? About what happened earlier. Eh, uh, what do you mean? You know what between you and Natsuki? Does that thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really that first it's that's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they won't they're both wonderful people. You don't you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just want your opinion, that's all. I don't see why they why they make good friends with you. You know, Sakura, it's nice that you I get to spend time with you in the club. I think it, I'm seeing that... I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Everything's going to be so much fun! It looks like Sayuri hasn't got on, caught on to the kind of situation that I'm in. So being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just see. We'll just have to see what the beats hold. Sayuri, I pat Sayuri on the foot, on the shoulder. I said that my, more to myself than her, but it's easy to see to use Sayuri as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Okay. Pick the one that C will like. Mm. Hmm. Melacony. Um. Agonizing? Okay. Um. Contamination, yeah. Um, wrath, yeah. Um, tears, no! 
Um, uncontrollable. Yeah. Eternity. Yeah. Um, question. Ah! Mm. Calm. Oh, fuck. Honest. Oh, wrong person again. Frightening. Um. Treasure. Fuck. Raindrops. Secretive? Yeah, alright. Okay. Um, graveyard. Um. Anxiety? Um. And trophy. Judgment. Mm. Tragedy. Oh, fuck. Sayori, you sneaky thing. Mm, this way. Well, I I mostly got Yuri anyway. Another day passes and it's time for another club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable he here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Sakura. Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm still not used to you being in the club. That's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood, but I guess it's always the same thing with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh? It's not like you at all! I have my reasons. Why don't you take a look at your purse, Sayori? Salty, like me in real life. Uh, uh, why, that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh, so we never see me choose a coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill out to the lens. Only two small coins fall out. Ahaha, uh, I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How do you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the classroom. So either you're not hungry or want to deck and want to text you to take a walk. Or you plan conveniently to forget that you spent all your money so that I will lend you some. And but there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And uh, and so that always leaves that one option. Ah! I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> so you're some niggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book as always. Ah. Uh, I wasn't listening or anything. It was, uh, it was just something in the book. You know me! Tell Sakura let me borrow some money! That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should buy what you can responsibly afford, and frankly, after putting, pulling on mysterious, mysterious cells that like that, the suffering is fair enough, but to reason. That ah, uh, did I just? I didn't mean that. I got to resolve in my book. You. <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yui. <coughs> it doesn't happen much. It's a fun side of you. That's that's no way you could think that. You were right. You were right though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the retribution. Retribution. <laughs> that. Still coming from you, Sayuri. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Yes, yes there is. Ah, <laughs> uh, ghosts, um, monsters are real. Ghosts are too. They all live inside us, and sometimes they win. 
the matter for you. Sayori knows what she's doing. After all, she's told you she was bringing me to the co Not weird, we never get to read our poems. You know what stuff, what kind of stuff we put in it. Like words and stuff, but we never actually get to see the whole thing and what it looks like. I would like to see it, please. Um, also, I'm out of time, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Click subscribe and click the video and click like if you like it click the notification bell and i'll see you in the next video sayonara bye